It's great, and uh, it's, uh, it's uh, my third or fourth time here, and it's a great honor to be here. And I hope, uh, hope London audiences like our movie. Well, we, yeah, I mean, we were, um, Brian Oliver and I produced the movie together. Um, we, uh, I've, been, I've been working on this for over five years. He's been working on it for like over 10. Um, but it wasn't until they, they found and caught the real Whitey Bulger hiding in Santa Monica that the real kind of energy to get the movie made really took place. We got Johnny and Scott and Benedict and Joel and everyone on board to go make it. He's an amazing actor. He's uh, we we say he's like a treasure, and uh, you know he he does a he does a, a physical transformation. But as Scott likes to say, our director, that that the, the real transformation is this interior one. He really inhabits the role of Whitey Bulger. Well, because it's a true story, so it's it's like it's not just a gangster movie. It's kind of a true crime story. So it's sort of like an anti-gangster thing. So yeah, it's. He makes it real, but because he's a real character, you don't want to glamorize, you know, or sort of glamorize the violence or, or what's happening in the movie. So, so you know, it, we tried to show it in as kind of an unflinching manner as possible. Yeah, I mean, we really tried to put together an incredible cast, and I think achieved that. Corey, in particular, Jesse and Rory, and I mean, yeah, it's a great, great group. Scott's amazingly collaborative and great, and then um, what I loved about Scott's work, both in Crazy Heart and Out of the Furnace, is that he's just amazing with his actors, and really creating an environment for them to shine, and be comfortable, and all be in the same movie and make a beautiful film. Well, I hope they'll be, I mean, it's, in, it's an incredible story about a brother, one brother who's the biggest gangster in the East Coast, and his, his brother is the probably the most popular politician in the state of Massachusetts, and their childhood best friend is the special agent John Connolly at the FBI, so it's just too crazy, you couldn't make something like that up.